Hi Tunies, it's the uh, free course from Fret Fables. Uh, hope you're doing well. I hope you're actually enjoying the, the process. And remember the PDF is actually in the description for you to go through all the different exercises we've done so far and a little bit of theory. Today I want to talk about uh, keys and how keys are structured. Uh, some people will say some keys are sad, some keys are happy, things like that. They, there is some truth to that. They, there are some keys that sound sadder, some keys that sound happier. Uh, but a lot of that comes from quite a while ago when they didn't have what was called equal temperament. So equal temperament is we have a semitone, a certain uh, certain distance between each of the, the notes on modern instruments. Okay, that's our modern musical notation. Uh, in the past, the, the intervals between an E and an F may be different depending on what the key was and how the instrument was tuned at the time. So... Uh, something like um, some classical songs would probably sound different today played on an in equal instrument, uh, in an equal temperament instrument uh, compared to what they used to be. Okay, so just a bit of trivia there for you. Um, we've talked about the how to find the keys in uh, the chords to the key that you're looking at. So if you, we know the first two strings, the notes there, which is fantastic. <clears throat> so we have... Uh, here, if we're looking at the key of G major, uh, we find the G note on the first first string, the thickest string there, and we go three frets up to G. The string below that, directly below that, is a C, and then two frets up, D. <clears throat> so we know that the chords are uh, G, D, uh, G, C, D. From there, we go back three frets, one, two, to the open string, which is E, and here's our, uh, our minor chord, chords for the key of G major. E minor, and we go A minor, and B minor. Okay, so they're the chords to the key of G major. And you can do that all around the guitar. Now, we're going to touch on something called the circle of fifths, right? Which is based around the fifth note, or the fifth degree, of, or fifth note of, of a scale. <clears throat> so in, in the key of A... <clears throat> if we go to A, and we know that the fifth note is E. So the fifth chord or the fifth note of uh, the key of A is E. All right. So one, two, three, four, five. So that's the fifth, the fifth note. So the circle of fifths means that you can go around the musical, musical, uh, like a circle. I'll, I'll put the circle in here for you to look around, and we can go around that. And we can understand the different keys and the relationships the keys have with each other as you travel around the actual circle of fifths. So if we have A and we know that E is the next next one, we've got to work out what the next next uh, the next fifth is. So we look at the fifths of E and we go, okay, well the six, the fifths of E, one, two, three, four, five, which is B. You work, you find that one out? Yep. So. So we go A, there, then we go to B, and we get to work out what the fifth note of the B is, which is F sharp, F sharp, F sharp. What's the F, what's the fifth note of the F sharp key? It's G sharp, all right? And you follow that, follow the notes and play the chords of all the notes around the, the, uh, the circle of fifths. And then you can see the inside will be all the minors and that, and you can actually look at the circle of fifths and see how that maps onto how we found the chords in the key. So we know we know if we look at G, we look at the G, or we'll go C C, because C is probably easier to see on the circle of fifths. If we go C, we'll see that the C chord to the left of the C C on the outside circle is what? F. Okay? And then on the right of it is the G. Directly below it. A minor. The four chords, or the one, two, or the one, uh, three, well, try again. The one, the four, five, and the six chords of the key of C major is there. They're the four chords used in most songs, most pop songs, uh, over the last 70 years. So if you learn all the different keys and understand the connection between, or the, con the, yeah, the connection between what the actual key is, the major notes in the key, the major chords, and the minor chords, 
you can play most of what you need to um, know to play most of the songs ever written. So if we look at that that way, we can also have um, have a look at the different sounds and play around with the different sounds. So if we have a, a minor key, which usually sounds a little bit sadder, uh, that's an A major chord, more melancholy, more, uh, you know, sad, okay? It's a lot brighter, it's a major seventh. Okay, so, so play around with the chords, play around with the keys, uh, understand the circle of fifths, and if you can play an exercise through the circle of fifths, just playing around the circle of fifths, uh, that will help you uh, with your key, your chord changes as well. So if you can do that, uh, and once you do be able to do that, once you be when you once you're able to do that, you'll be a long way to making a uh, impact on developing your skills as a guitarist. Okay, so. Until next time, thank you for watching, subscribe, have a look at some of the other videos we have on the channel and make sure that you understand that music is our constant companion. It's there when we're sad to cheer us up, it's there to celebrate when we're happy. Okay, until next time, tunies, have a great day.